Hello everyone, you are on the Moby channel and a few hours ago a new 67 episode part 2 was released, and if at first glance everything looks very sad, then I will note a few advantages from this episode. So in this video we will discuss topics such as why the Titan TV man did not come to the rescue, whether a new race of agents will appear in the series, did the alliance finally lose and I will also show and tell you about the secrets that you might not have noticed when watching part 2 of episode 67, so be sure to watch this video to the end, also don't forget to like it, and let's get at least 7000 likes on this video, because my videos haven't been getting so many views lately, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, let's get 400,000 subscribers on my channel before the new year. We're starting. The second part begins exactly from the moment at which the first part of episode 67 ends, if you suddenly forgot, I'll remind you. The Titan Skibbity scientist moved to the Titans, and the Titans in turn were ready to just tear him to pieces. Next, the Titan speaker man launched the attack first. He rose into the air and fired at the Skibbity scientist with his one remaining blaster. Let me remind you that he lost one of his blasters in episode 65 during the battle with fake G Toilet. Next, the Titan Skibbity scientist received a little damage and fired back at the Titan speaker man, but due to the fact that the Titan speaker man has a higher speed, thanks to its speakers, he managed to reflect and dodge the scientist's projectile. Next, the Titan cameraman joined the attack, but the scientist Skibbity Titan repelled the attack with a chainsaw with his protected mechanical paws. Next, he repelled the attack and threw the Titan cameraman a short distance using his one large speaker, which used to belong to the Titan cinema man. Next, the Titan speaker man came up behind the scientist Skibbity and using his trademark tactics with a knife tried to inflict maximum damage to the scientist, but instead of an eye, he hit the scientist's gun, which was near his right eye. Next, the Titan scientist throws the Titan speaker man to a certain distance. And the next action of Titan is the demonstration of its new technology. After all, as it turns out, he has tentacles behind his back like Dr. Octopus from the Spider-Man movies, and the weapon is a cannon charged with acid, we have already seen it in part 1 of episode 67 of the Skibbity Mafia. He charges an acid rocket and it hits directly into the Titan speaker man, but fortunately he manages to protect himself with his hand on which there was a single blaster, and the blaster simply fell off from the effects of acid. Next, the Titan speaker man accumulated all his anger and rage and decided to throw it out of his reactor. But wait! Don't you see anything strange and mysterious here? Take a close look at the background. There are some technologies visible on this mountain, and this structure looks like a portable laboratory. Perhaps this is only part of the map and it does not make any sense. Or it's a very hidden easter egg from Defugbum. What do you think? Write your theories and assumptions about this in the comments. And we return to the battle. Titan Speaker Man fires a cannon at a Skibbity Scientist from his reactor. And to be honest, I was surprised, because I had not seen Titan Speaker Man activate a laser beam from his reactor before. And the Titan Skibbity Scientist himself was shocked by the ability of the Titan Speaker Man. You can tell by the look on his face. Titan Speaker Man destroys one acid cannon and all the acid in this cannon is sprayed on Titan Skibbity Scientist. But then the scientist pulls out his second stealthy gun, which is a laser and the scientist shoots a laser directly into the reactor of the Titan speaker man. An explosion occurs and the Titan speaker man falls to the ground. Next, the Titan cameraman enters the battle. With his hand saw, he cuts off the laser cannon from the Titan scientist. The Titan scientist hits the Titan cameraman and activates his powerful speaker located on his chest. The Titan cameraman explodes from this sound wave and is lost in space, and then the Titan scientist again pulls out his mechanical arm with a toxic cannon from behind his back. And as soon as the Titan scientist tries to shoot the Titan cameraman, the elite agent plunger cameraman comes to the rescue and my theory that he will help the Titans was confirmed, it means that he did not get into the secret place of the agents of TV mans. And apparently he's never been there. Plunger Cameraman Glitch Projectile shoots into the acid cannon of the Titan Scientist. And if you look closely, the Plunger Cameraman destroyed only the cannon, but the mechanical arm itself remained intact. Next, the Scientist removes his hand and begins to follow the Plunger Cameraman. The Plunger deals the Scientist another glitch blow and pulls time so that the Titan Cameraman has time to recover a little. But the Scientist Skibbity intends to seriously eliminate the agents of the Alliance. Therefore, he activates his loudspeaker again and now the plunger of the camera is lost in space. It seems to me that this sound acts on the plunger of the cameraman as hypnosis of TV woman, 
because we have already seen a similar scene in episode 54. And as soon as the Titan scientist fixed the elite agent in place, he shot him with his one laser eye. There was an explosion and the plunger of the cameraman fell to the ground. But there was no explosion, so it is impossible to say with certainty that he died again or was seriously damaged. Then the operator turns again and the plot begins to unfold here the Titan cameraman and the Titan scientist. The Titan cameraman attacks the skibbity scientist again and destroys his laser eye with his hand with a circular saw. And it seems that finally this Giga Chad and the main Titan of the Alliance begins to win, when suddenly an improved Titan G toilet appears. On it we can notice the reactor, which is usually located at the Titans of the Alliance. He also has new glasses with lasers on them, and also his toilet is equipped with more powerful weapons and a durable case. He shoots lasers at the legs of the Titan cameraman, from which the Jigachad Titan falls to his knees. Next, the Titan scientist does a crazy action. After all, with his mechanical tongue, he tears off the lens from the Titan cameraman. It's like she's taking revenge on him for his damaged laser eye. Also, its large speaker falls and we see the TV screen, or rather it is a plasma thin TV or perhaps it is a monitor, and when the frame approaches on it we can notice the TV logo and see that it says Skibbity. And then the Titan scientist turns on the insane red radiation, which was previously used only by the Titan TV man. Our POV operator gets sick from this radiation, but it's good that he had a protective lens in his pocket, which was given by TV man's agents in the earliest episodes of the series. The agent puts on a protective lens and we see a very scary picture. Specifically, the skibbity scientist Titan uses hypnosis to make the Titan cameraman cut off his own head, and the Titan G toilet is happy to watch this. And here I would already say this is the end of the second part of episode 67, but no. On reviewing, I noticed a strange detail. Take a closer look at this place. It seems to me either some strange object is flying to this place, or it's smoke from a Titan G toilet jetpack. Write your opinion in the comments. And now this is the end of the second part of episode 67 of Skibbity Toilet. Well, this episode is really very interesting and tragic for the Alliance of Agents, but on the other hand, the series continues, because if the Titan TV man had returned in the second part of episode 67, the Alliance would most likely have won and what would have happened next. And here we have an unexpected turn of events, because no one could have thought that a Titan scientist was hiding a whole plasma TV behind his speaker. Therefore, that the series continues is a plus. But the downside is that in fact all the Titans died. And it seems that the secret agent predicted the future back in episode 66, when he sent this message to all agents. And do you know who can fix it all? You probably think that this is Titan TV Man. Titan TV Man can only deal with one of the Titans, but even then it is not a fact that he will be able to defeat them. I believe that only a secret agent can fix this situation. By the way, did you notice him in this episode? Personally, I didn't notice, but if you know at what minute you can watch it, then leave the time code in the comments. And, what about the new race of agents? I believe that it can really appear, because the Alliance's affairs are very bad and now either agents of a new race, or a secret agent, or agents of TV mans, who have come up with an unrealistically cunning plan that can work, will come to their aid. By the way, I have a theory about why the Titan TV man did not come to the aid of the agents. Perhaps he wants to become one of the main Titans and rule all races, but this is just a theory. And what happens next, we will find out only in the following episodes. And by the way, if you get 10,000 likes on this video, then the new video will not take long to wait, because I already have some interesting and unique theories about the plunger of the cameraman and the improved titanium G toilet. Moby was with you, I'll see you soon.